So this is the Dragon Paladin I used to get to Legend. And even though I didn't record that game because my opponent conceded halfway through and it wasn't great for content, this deck went five and two and felt really good. I will say two things about this deck. One, this deck is kind of slow. If you look, you only have three minions that are two or less mana, and then you also have Kazakasan, which is a pretty slow and clunky win condition. I say this because when you compare it to Shock, Spitter, Hunter that can win games on turn seven, you also have Frost, Death Knight, as well as Miracle Rogue that can burst you down pretty early as well. You just never really have a chance to play Kazakasan. But I will say this deck is really strong in the mid game. The dragons are extremely strong and well statted. You can completely take over games with these cards, especially with the Time Warden. You play Time Warden turn four, and you play Amber Watcher or a Nixian Warder turn five, and it's insanely strong. Your opponent can't really deal with it. And then you also also have turn nine time warden into turn 10 read boss anixia which gives you a whole board of two two divine shield taunt whelps and mulligans for the deck are pretty simple just keep any of your two or less uh minions that you can especially if you need to fight for tempo and then the last thing is if you're into something aggro city tax and equality are fine to keep as well don't forget to like comment and most of all enjoy the gameplay Ooh, i actually like this hand a lot Ooh, divine shield taunt minions actually help against demon hunter a lot I'm gonna keep this for card draw. I don't know which one of these I wanna keep. I wanna keep one of the three drops and I think I want it to be Vindicator for now. Okay, well, this is not bad. We can coin this out and then play this and get a couple of different spells, draw them. If we can get service spell, we can play it. It's pretty good. And then Time Warden into some Divine Shield Taunt minions and some pretty substantial healing. Should allow me to win this matchup. This matchup is just like a worse Hunter deck though. I think it's got a little bit more burst with proper setup, but it's not able to burst you down as fast. So it's gonna be this. We're gonna discover a card. Amber Watcher is pretty good. We can always go boom into boom, four, five. It's a really good play to heal a ton and get a divine shield taunt minion. We play holy spells. We don't really have that many holy spells, so we're gonna take hold the bridge. Especially considering we have ways of giving minions a rush, like the Daring Drake, as well as Carrial Realm. Can't believe you've been doing this for six hours. Gosh darn it, you're a rogue. I should have known. But honestly, this is not bad for me. Let me draw a card, hopefully it's a uh, service bell. It's flight. And I don't need to play it this turn, it's actually not that big of a deal. We can try to play it around turn seven. We can try to play it around uh, turn seven, okay. Chat, I would like to know this because I actually have not tried it because I've been too scared. If I play coin, does that count as having seven mana crystals? A bonus if you have six mana crystals, gain one mana crystal this turn only, I will have gained a mana crystal. Does it work? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. I kind of want to play this on turn six. And then I want to go boom, 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 turn seven. It doesn't work. That's what I thought. But I was hoping that maybe, just maybe it would work. Just draw another card for now. We get another equality, which honestly isn't terrible. But we want to play Amber Watcher turn five. We want to play this turn six. And then we want to go boom, boom. And then a five, five the following turn. What, am I being greedy? Is that gonna lose me the game? Possibly. But being able to draw a card isn't bad either. Like it gets me closer to getting city tax. I was hoping to draw city tax to kill this anyway, which would have been really, really good. So there are ways that it would have worked out for me, but I think that was a bad play that might cascade into a, a lost game. I mean, that's fine. I mean, if this is their whole turn, they're taking a long time to set up which might mean I don't get punished that hard. We heal up eight, which is decent. And we play this, then we go boom, uh, boom, boom, next turn. And it's pretty solid, I guess. Ikor, I want to call, or I want a collection of the entire city expansion since the pre-order bundles are still available. Which one should I buy? Uh, that gives me the most cards for the lowest price. I think technically the mega bundle gives you the best price slightly. Like yes, per it's like $1 per pack. For both of them but the other one gives you five signature packs so you have more packs in total and it's more likely to give you um good cards i think and then you also get two legendaries which i don't know if that's the case for all of them yeah we're gonna take a lot of damage next turn which i kind of regret 
I don't know. Serrated Bone Spike, that's fine. They're gonna get a pretty big stealth minion. Not huge, but big. Actually, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? I could go this, and then coin out this to protect myself and kill off this minion, because I think this is going to be more problematic going forward. And then we can play this, this, and if we can find another three drop dragon, we can play one more thing. Because we actually had mana left over after that play, which is really, really good. A 4-4 stealth minion isn't going to do anything. Honestly, they just had a bad hand. Even though I misplayed this game, they had a bad hand, so we're not punished for it, which is nice. But I will admit that this was played fairly poorly by me by being greedy. I mean, at the end of the day, the play was still fine. The turn seven play still ended up working out exactly how I wanted. Turn six and turn seven is going to work out just how I expected it to. If they had had a nuts hand and they popped off there and got like a nine nine and a big weapon, that would have been bad. What's up, dog? Did this new expansion go crazy? I mean, armor ramp druid and a blood death knight and it's been great. What do you think? I agree. I think this expansion has been great. I love the Blood Knight. Honestly, I'm I, I kind of want to play more of it. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and the ramp, the armor ramp druid. I actually think that it's pretty cool. Two concoctions. It's gonna take a while. I don't know if they're gonna play it yet. They might do the one that draws two cards immediately. They might have the time to play it. Summon a minion and get a card that costs three less. That's fine. We do get another three drop minion, which is fantastic. You give me a seven. We'll take this as well, just in case the board gets out of control. Uh, then we're gonna deal three damage and destroy the four one because it's a problem. And then we're gonna play bronze explorer. Honestly, maybe we kill this so he can't shadow. No, he's already played both shadow steps. We destroy this because it has the best stats. And then we'll play this and discover another dragon. And this is a pretty good board. Uh, Brass wing seems pretty good, especially going into turn eight. But anyway, the, the Ramp Druid, I played an OTK Ramp Druid, and I think that one, if you build specifically around an OTK, is a little bit worse than a deck that's just Ramp Druid. After playing it a while, I think the Ramp Druid that runs, you know, the Insatiable Devourers, it runs Topia, it runs a lot of the traditional Ramp Druid stuff, it felt better to me. So it depends, I don't know which deck you're going, but I would recommend the just normal Ramp Druid one. Extra health makes them so mad when I play Death Knight, true. Sometimes you're able to just completely dis dismantle them. There's not much they can do. Okay. Gets rid of two Divine Shields. That's not great. Gets rid of the one with the Life Steal, which is my least favorite thing. Oh. Oh no. This poor player. Destroy the minion? That's pretty good for them. That was actually a good play. Respectable, respectable. Get a 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. I think I want to play Arcanos. I think I would like to just play this. Send them all to the Shadow Realm. And then when they all come back, I get to play Brasswing Equality and just destroy their entire board. Seems pretty good to me, so I guess I'll play you. It's an 8-8 eight, eight as well, which is pretty solid. I mean, either that or I play you and I heal 8. And then I can save you for later. Which also doesn't suck in my opinion. Yeah, I guess we'll just play that. I mean, we heal 8 off of this. So even if they end up going full face with the damage, we just healed 8 and they have to kill the 9-7 or it's going to kill more of their minions. Not to mention the fact that if they don't kill it, we play the... Oh. Fair enough. To be quite honest with you, fair enough. They're probably going to hit it with a 3-1, keep the 7-5 alive unless they get a damage off of that. 100 HP, Death Knight, Lamau. Yeah, I got up to 100 HP. Actually did, it was nuts. Well, technically 95, and then I gained 5 armor. So it was 95 HP and 5 armor. Let's not get too uh, specific about it, though. There's an Elwyn Boar Ramter that's fairly consistent. Really? Are you kidding me? Wait, how? I remember I saw a Reddit post saying that it was possible, and I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. But I didn't actually look into it at all. We're gonna, we're gonna play Arcanos next turn. And then discover a new dragon. Oh my word, I don't care about that really though. That's only one damage, it's fine. And then we're gonna give it life steal for a turn and heal up 10. We go boop, and then we're gonna discover a dragon. We're gonna apply as much pressure as possible. What do we possibly get here? Maybe Alex Straza would win me the game. Do you win me the game? 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, so let's just go with healing because we're not winning the game next turn, unfortunately. But I mean, against a rogue that's running out of steam like this, they can't really do anything. Prep sprint into like some sort of big Draca would be their best play. Shroud of Concealment into some big Draca would now be their best play. Edwin. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Maybe I trade into that. I mean, they run out of resources really soon. I have a deck code that isn't super opt optimized, but it's fun. Oh, shoot. That has, they both have stealth. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I think we draw, yeah, we draw two cards to thin out my deck and then we play hold the bridge. Just to flood the board here. We draw the battle viker, okay. Maybe we play that? No, we'll play alliance banner man. And then hold the bridge. Maybe we get a one drop minion, we don't. We'll go hold the bridge here and then these go face. Their minions are gonna come back at the end of this turn. We've got a Divine Shield minion though. We've got a quality. We have a Nixia to trade into a whole bunch of things. If we can get city tax, that'd be fantastic. Even if we don't get city tax, it doesn't matter because their minions aren't stealth. We can just run at them. In death, I've Draca. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. This Dragon Paladin deck, although a little bit slow, has turned out to be quite strong. Honestly, if you could figure out a way to make it a little bit faster, I think this deck would legitimately be top tier. I'm going to get rid of the cards that don't draw me cards. I want to draw through my deck as quickly as possible. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the other two and I like discovering a dragon. But I, I like playing it turn seven. I'd rather just get rid of it for now. Oh, it's a rogue deck. Luckily, we have a quality. If we can draw city tax, that would be amazing. This is also going to draw a quality. I think it's the only holy spell in the deck still. Much like the last, um... Much like the last... Oh? They're just going to play it. Okay, fair enough. Sure, say less. We drew Sire to Nathrius. That's pretty good for me. I think we're going to coin out a minion. I think we're going to coin this out and just go face because we have so many three drops. I think ultimately that's the best play that I have. We're going to probably play Bronze Explorer next turn. Maybe we play the uh, the Vindicator. I just don't want it to die to just, you know, a dagger. That would suck. There's a Mage OTK that... Um, I've only seen a Druid, a Demon Hunter, or a Death Knight, a Demon Hunter, and Warlock. Oh, yeah, there's an OTK with like every single class nowadays. But yeah, the Hunter one is just too strong. They literally killed me through Karyl. Do you understand how difficult that is? We'll draw a card. Ends up being Service Bell, which is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. I still think City Tax is best, though, for the ability to like kill off. Um. The ability to destroy their big stealth minions if they are going that deck. And they're not going the other thief deck or the thief rogue version. That doesn't always run that. So I don't I don't know exactly what they're doing. I mean those are fine. We can kill them uh later on. They're not going to weapon, so I'm able to kill off one of them with a three one. That's nice. I hate Hunter with a passion every expansion. I mean I don't mind Hunter. What I hate about Hunter is when they're able to do what they just did. No regard for human life. I don't want them to combo and shadow step anything. But like, what did they do? They OTK'd me through Karyl and did over 20 damage. Through Karyl. And killed a couple of minions on my board. That was just absurd. Ghostly Strike, that was a good card to draw. Did they shadow step Edwin? Backstab, fair enough. Wait, you have zero mana left. Oh, prep into like Bone Spike probably? Serrated Bone Spike, yeah. And then what? Are you able to play uh, an Edwin card? Oh, you are able to play an Edwin card. Oh, you, that wasn't an Edwin card? What? Oh, I must have misinterpreted that, my bad. We still have a quality city tax to deal with this, although we don't need to do it right now. I'd rather just do this, get Divine Shield Taunt, and then Divine Shield Taunt again. And then just go with another Time Warden for more Divine Shield Taunt minions. I guess Deathwing isn't the worst, but we want an 8-drop, I think. So we'll take that if we don't end up getting, um... Karyl. This is at least a viable turn 8 play. 27 to the face, and that was cut in half. Yeah, it's insane how much damage they can deal.
And they can do that before turn 10. So it's not even like a combo on turn 10. You can do about that much damage as early as turn, um, what's it called? As early as turn seven, I think. Bran plus two of the two drops is seven mana. Six with the coin or eight with the coin. You can do an even more massive combo. But yeah, quality uh, city tax is going to wipe this board and is going to be my way of killing Edwin. I don't like the fact that they played that. There had to have been a better play they could have made. Oh, that's fine. Okay, cool. Equality City Tax is going to do absolute wonders here. And we still get to keep an Equality City Tax for the next turn. Equality, City Tax, Hero Power. I don't know why they run Astellar, but I feel like I'm going to find out. They already used a Shadow Step. In my head, they do it, they Shadow Step him, and then the next turn, it's Bran Astellar. So over two turns, it's about 48 damage, which is good. You could even do it with the coin. You could do 32 damage with the coin even earlier, but I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I question everything. We do have another equality consecrate though if they get a big stealth minion. Shadow step him again? Oh no, this is gonna be one big Draca. Who remembers Nosdormu the Timeless? Lol, what a card. Was that the one that set everybody's mana to 10 immediately? That was pretty funny. Yeah, and then it's gonna be coin, and then it's gonna be Draca. Oh my word, that's pretty sick for them. In death, that is a big minion. I don't want to go with quality city tax again, but I kind of have to. I mean, how much damage is that gonna be? That's not even gonna be enough to kill me. I just go with quality city tax again. We get a coin, which is nice. Honestly, I shouldn't have done that. I should have coined out this. That's my bad. I did not even realize that it was going to give me the coin. I forgot. I ended my turn too soon. If I were smart, I coin out this, and then the next turn I play another one and then something else. But anyway, we healed up a decent amount. We'll heal up with the Amber Watcher next turn, and then probably... I mean, I guess we can play this, coin this next turn, which is decent, and it's Divine Shield Taunt and heals me up a ton. So I guess it's not bad. They've played both Shadow Steps now, though, so... Again, I'm not really that worried. 10 damage. Ow, I guess. You're going to go boom into coin heal. Then we can play another one and then discover another dragon. And just like that, we are in the driver's seat. God, I love dragons. They're so awesome. So awesome. The real meme dragon was the priest one that gave each player two turns. I think there was like an OTK people were able to do with that, though. So I don't think that was really a meme. I think that was just genuinely a good card. But yeah, I so I have a challenge for a hundred dollars right now on Jester. For those of you who don't know Jester, uh, it's the site that kind of sponsors me, and well, it's I use them, but they also sponsor High Horizon. So, but it's pretty cool. Uh, they say they want me to get the Queldalar weapon. Service Bell, boom! Divine Shield Taunt, boom! Divine Shield Taunt. Discover another dragon. Alexstrasza sounds pretty good for some healing, potentially. We also have Denathrius, which is solid. Potentially wipe the board. I think I want to go with maybe card draw. Just because it's cheaper, I can play it next turn. We'll do this as well. Wait, 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 wait. What does that say? Until the end of turn, dragons that you summon. That I summon? These are just going to get Divine Shield immediately. That's insane be hard for him to get over that. I'm gonna play this, 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 and maybe a three cost dragon if we can find it. That is definitely a lot of damage, but again, all of their own... Um... That is in fact a lot of damage. I don't know if Denathrius is correct to actually save me here. Can it save me? Denathrius does 17 damage. It does do 17 damage. It does do 17 damage, which is cool. And I'm trying to think if this will be enough. If I play Denathrius, I no longer get the Divine Shield taunts on them. But it's still a good play. Like, even if the 8-8 eight eight lives, it probably kills the 5-1 and the 3-2. Limits their damage by a decent amount. Heals me 17. Probably kills one more minion. Because it can only do 3 here, so that's basically 14 for 4 more minions. Maybe it kills this off as well. Hopefully it does. 
Oh man. Or we go the greed route because they're running out of cards. They could have a backstab, but if we're able to get one three drop dragon, we're chilling, right? No, we're not. We have to play Tenathrius. It sucks, but we do. Hopefully it kills the three four. Okay, it does, which means we probably win the game now. How much damage did it do their face? Three? Pretty good split. 14 damage among five things. Should theoretically do about three to each. Got lucky killing that. They play that, which is fine. We're going to play some giant top minions. I don't think they win here. Yeah, they give up. Fair enough. Like having the Anixian Warder, especially if it ends up being aggro. But honestly, we want to try to look for two and three drops if we can. We're not going to get rid of city attacks until we know that that is not an aggro druid. Aggro druid is still very popular because it's very cheap still. And it's a lot more powerful than I thought it was going to be. So we need to make sure that it's not aggro. We need to see that 40 cards show up. Okay, I'm 40 cards. I know that. Okay, they are as well. You get the Alliance Bannerman, which is cool. We draw uh, Equality, which is cool. We have Equality City Tax, which I'm pretty sure I keep in my hand for as long as I can. Like, until I need to use it. Lightforge Carrial on 8 seems pretty good. I will end up just Hero Powering going face. Playing Bannerman next turn. Kind of lame when I don't have that many minions in hand. But maybe we draw one more minion next turn. Never punished? What do you mean never punished? Literally, that last game... Look, if you're in a position like I was in last game, where if I make the correct play to survive, I'm dead in two or three turns, you gotta go for the Hail Mary and play the Service Bell and hope you find City Tax or Equality or whatever I was looking for, right? Like, if I trade in and play the way that I could to last an extra turn, it's not gonna change the outcome of the game. It's simply not. I'm hoping to find something. We get this, and then we can hero power, which isn't terrible. I mean, it's not great. Maybe instead of hero power, we play blessed goods. Maybe avenge even could be good. Avenge could be kind of cool, actually, because if they kill off minions, it gets pumped up. But I think blessed goods for resource generation is better. We get... Okay, we end up getting this secret anyway. I'll take that, sure. Oh my gosh, dude. Why do these bots keep showing up? Let's uh, hide that bot from the channel. Five mana, probably Nourish. Yep, fair enough. When you play games, you have to play to win. If you play to not lose, you're never going to win. That's not true. If you're a hard control deck against aggro, playing to not lose is usually a pretty good strategy. It generally works pretty well. They're going to play Scale of Anixia because obviously they have it. Then it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The 1, 3 lives. We're not able to uh, target anything with Amalgam. They don't have Scale of Anixia. This is really, really good, though. I'd have ordered the Amber Watcher. Or I'd have... Or no, not Kazakasan, please. The Amber Watcher is gone. I'm fine with that. Do I have quality here? Hey, Elliot, thanks so much for the $2. Hope your grind is going well. It's going pretty all right. I mean, I could send 11 damage into this. And I don't want to waste my equality. So I will. It's a pretty decent card, but I can't really use it right now. We'll just reflood the board a little bit. That's fine. You. We got two rush minions after we needed them. That's okay. We play you on turn eight, probably. And take Amalgam of the Deep for resource generation. And quite honestly, I think full trading and playing for, um... Kazakasan sounds pretty good to me. If I can draw Sire to Nathrace in the next couple of turns before I end up playing Kazakasan, that's even better. I think I play Kazakasan after Lightforge Carrial. And... Yeah. I think that's all we really have to focus on at this point. We're gonna play a Nixian Warder, and then we're gonna play Amalgam. Okay, cool. We get a minion. Awesome. We're gonna be able to kill. We're gonna we're gonna kill us off. I'd rather have the three four take damage because. Well, do I? Yeah, I'd rather have the three four take damage, because if the three two goes here, it dies. This three four goes here. We like having the taunt. This is a three four with really no ability. Actually, no. What am I talking about? I'm literally gonna rush into it. <laughs> Lol. Don't let them harm the eggs. Smack. Um, 
amalgam here. I guess technically I might have ordered it wrong. We take raid boss and Nixie, I think is really, really good. And then we're going to go face with the rest here. We're just constantly applying pressure. We'll play this next turn. Then the next turn, I want to play Kazakasan, but I also kind of want to play Service Bell and try one last time to get Sire to Nathrace. So if we can get Service Bell and go like double order in the court, that would be really, really good. We might choose to be greedy here and play Kazakasan probably around turn 10. I mean, that's not going to be that bad, right? Famous last words. Oh. Oh, no. No way I'm dead, right? No way! Wait. That's not even that bad. What? That's not even that devastating. Hello? We'll play this. Let's see what we draw. We'll take order in the court. We do like that quite a bit. We did want that. And then we're going to go equality, city tax, and then go face with everything. I don't know why they committed so hard that turn. I guess they were fighting for the board, and if I didn't have that, they are in a good spot. Um, do they concede here, or are they going to win somehow? Because they haven't played enough minions for Denathrius to win them the game. I could play double order in the court before I play Light Forge Carrier, or I could play order in the court, order in the court. Um, we'll see. They're drawing a bunch of cards here. I play Lightforge Carriel and I try to get lethal. Leviathan comes down, fair enough. We're gonna play Lightforge Carriel. We're gonna push as much damage as we possibly can. We'll take half damage, so if they do try to combo me, now they need 90 damage, which, to be fair, is not impossible. Especially considering one of their cards does it one damage at a time, and one damage at a time actually plays around this. That was kind of spicy, but against Paladin doesn't count for much, yeah. Against Death Knight as well with the 8 mana destroy everything card if they're going blood. Twisting Nether, Whirlpool, and Priest. There are some really good hard removals that can play around it, but... That was unfortunate. I'm gonna play Order in the Court. And... I'm going to... Hope to get Denathrius. And then we're gonna play... What the heck are you on, dude? Equality? Don't mind equality. Don't mind it. Is there anything that can win me the game this turn? Technically, no. But we can kill this. We can go order in the court. And then we can go... We got Anixia, which is not Denathrius, which is unfortunate, which means we go Leviathan. And we double trade into that. They keep their Divine Shield and we just go face. Which I think works. And then with our one mana, we can go uh, Blight. We'll go Flight. Yeah, they're just going to concede. Yeah, I think that went okay. I sadly could not play Kazakusan, but it went well. Uh, we're not going to keep Anixia, but a turn two into turn three is pretty good. The only thing that makes it better is a Knight of Anointment, but we don't get it. So, yeah, I have not played Kazakusan thus far. And I the reason is because the meta is just too fast. I mean, if I look at all of these decks going down the list... Frost, Death Knight, pretty consistently can kill you by turn, um, around 8-ish. Demon Hunter with, uh, the new Relic slash, what's it called, no minion build. Also very, very strong. Strong. I like Equality. I don't think it's actually going to be effective in this matchup, but... I'll still take it just in case they end up playing... A decent card like Hydralodon, so it makes it easier to kill it. I mean, it's it's just a nice little precaution. Druid has an OTK, but they gain so much armor. Like, Druid, it could happen against. Hunter kills you turn 7. I'm going to keep it in the video if they end up killing me turn 7, just to show how ridiculous this deck is. Like, I'm, I'm a deck that actually has healing, too. Like, that's the worst part. We get another Alliance Bannerman. We'll play another Alliance Bannerman to keep pumping up. And then this and this turn... No. It's going to be this turn 4... This turn, five. This this turn, six. They have Rustrop Viper, which plays around Karyl, which is definitely not something I want to see. But, like, I'm going to get comboed and probably die turn seven. I would not be surprised. Um, and it just, it bums me out. It really does. Because I just, uh, I hate the, I hate the Shock Spitter. Every time I play against Hunter, I feel bad. 
The Priest has an OTK that can kill you turn seven. I've done it, it's pretty cool. Miracle Rogue can end games turn seven. Um, Aggro Shaman can end games as early as turn six, actually, that was surprising. Enrage Warrior is really good. There are just a lot of really good decks that can end games before turn 10 or even eight. And we're never able to play Kazakasan. We're just never even able to play the card. Hopefully we're able to heal up enough and apply enough pressure to where we should be able to beat this Hunter. I mean, if we're able to apply a ton of pressure, we should just be able to beat him down. But there's a world where they could combo me in like a turn or two. They could play it this turn. Oh my god. What are they going to play? Wound Prey. Sure, fair enough. On the bright side, this is a lot of their damage going away, or a lot of their, like, removal going away. So if I end up playing, uh... Oh, they don't draw cards off of this. That's awesome. Which means I can play double Bronze Explorer for some lifesteal, which is pretty good still. I've seen no priests. What deck is good for them? I made the OTK priest list that I actually thought was pretty solid. Um... I think this is the best play. We'll take Fairy Dragon so we can actually play it along with the Watcher next turn, and then we'll play another thing. So they do damage, we can heal up. Dealing three is pretty solid. I do like that. It can kill off a minion potentially. But the pre stack I played the other day, I have a video coming out on it today. Not after the stream, but like later tonight a little bit. Which is pretty cool. Um yeah it is oh here it comes wow 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 and then they're gonna play the card devouring swarm and i'm gonna die turn seven i'm gonna get to heal up a pretty decent amount to be honest with you we can't play carryal yet how much damage do they do that's 14 that's 28 we get to heal five more plus this which is eight more we might actually be able to barely live through this, to be quite honest with you. We heal back up to 37. And then I'll play the 2-4. It's slightly better stats and can maybe discover me more healing or a pump of some kind. I'll take a pump. They can do 28 more damage. If they get one more, they win. Or if they can find any more damage, they win. Oh, they're going to kill my minions. Why would you not kill the 5-7? Oh, you're going to play uh, Devouring Storm again, aren't you? Okay, draw some cards, fair enough. Hopefully you're able to kill this, which will lower their damage potential substantially. And we're gonna play Karyl. No, don't bounce it, please. Okay, I think I win. I think I win. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I think I win. Thank goodness, man. They actually almost kill me turn seven, that's ridiculous. This goes face, go boom, boom, and then this nine goes here. Oh my gosh, I had to win that game there or I was gonna die like next turn. That's insane. 